So here's something a little bit different and actually kind of exciting if you're a fan of Call of Duty and actually more specifically Black Ops 2 that's going to be launching next Tuesday, which is uh, only five. That's only five days away right now. Back in August, Treyarch announced at Gamescom a ton of information about the game, but one of the biggest things that stuck out to me was their podcasting or live stream feature that was going to be built directly into the game. This, of course, was something that's pretty groundbreaking for a console game, but being able to live stream directly from an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 would open up the whole world of being able to share your gameplay and personality with a much wider audience and not something where you'd need a large set of equipment to capture video, audio, probably mix that video in order to go together as well as have a large enough internet bandwidth to be able to push out a high quality stream for people to watch. Uh, that content. Um, so obviously with that announcement, I was very excited to see details on the back end, you know, how it works, where it works, what we're going to be able to do, yada, yada, yada. And a few hours ago, Activision announced some pretty cool information on how viewers will be able to watch content being streamed from someone playing the game. Here's a little bit of the press release. Activision today announced that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 new live streaming feature, uh, available when the game launches November 13th, will let players live stream gameplay onto YouTube directly from the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 game consoles. Quick side note for you PC gamers, since the announcement this morning, uh, it has been confirmed that the uh, exact same functionality will be on the PC version of the game, although uh, not for the Wii U, but... You won't catch me crying about that. Some more information, uh, Call of Duty Elite takes the live streaming experience even further, letting viewers on Elite see the player card of the user that is streaming. With just a couple clicks, viewers can dig deeper into such information as class loadouts, recent match data, as well as career stats across supported, uh, a bunch of Elite stuff here. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 player live streams will be viewable on YouTube, via web browsers, mobile, and tablets through Call of Duty Elite, as well as individual YouTube user channels. Our partners are using YouTube Live to bring entertainment, must see Moments and more to millions of people around the world. With Call of Duty Black Ops 2, people can live stream their gameplay directly from the game and watch best players live on YouTube, which is an awesome next step for the esports community. A verified YouTube account is required to live stream. A valid Call of Duty Elite registration is necessary to view streams related to information inside Call of Duty Elite. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 player live streams will be subject to limitations restrictions. Additional Call of Duty Black Ops 2 live stream destinations will be announced. Uh, in the future, which is also something really cool because according to Eurogamer.net is saying that they have inside information that a similar deal is close to being completed with Twitch.tv. So that would also be very cool to see. As far as my opinion on this, it's, you know, it's a tool, obviously. And it's a tool that will have both positive and negative side effects on the esports community. Of course, you have a quote-unquote, like, oversaturation of content as it's never been easier to make a live stream. Uh, to push that video out for the you know the whole world to see but it's something that's going to allow people previously never had that option to show the world their skills and just how good they are with not necessarily having to jump through you know the seven and a half million hoops in order to do so being able to do that through a portal like youtube brings you that much closer to an already developed audience if you have one built no more making videos like you know hey guys i'm gonna i'm gonna go do a live stream for a few hours and you know click that link down below to come watch me of course take that with a grain of salt as not everyone that has a youtube YouTube account has the ability to live stream. As far as I'm aware, live streaming functionality on YouTube is still in beta. I have a partnered account and I don't have access to that functionality, which is still very strange to me. But uh, that said, I do know that YouTube is going to be rolling out version two of their live stream program in uh, 2013 that makes it have a lot of the same functionality that Twitch.tv has for its partnered members. And I didn't even get into the whole viewable on Call of Duty Elite, but that's mainly just because I don't see it being nearly as big as the whole viewable on YouTube and, you know, potentially uh, Twitch TV. But having a developed audience on YouTube is going to pay off enormously given uh, this announcement today. But yeah, what do, uh, what do you think? Is this going to be something that leads to a bunch of idiots streaming <laughs> games of them going 5 and 27 on TDM? Or do you think it's going to change a lot of the way that people view esports? You know, it's legitimacy, like, make everything easier. Is it going to be something that other games incorporate into them in the future? Let me know what you think, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.